Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Newsday McDaniel. I'm Grayson Johns. And I'm Zoe Hunter. Our top story this week. The 2023-2024 room selections are open. According to Associate Dean of Students, Michael Robbins, students planning to live on campus for the next school year need to apply for housing. It is also important for students to apply early so they can get the housing of their choice. Residents must complete the first step of the housing process by March 10th and should apply early to get their pick. Sophomore Lauren Barnes, who lives in McDaniel Hall, says, Last year I waited too long to fill out the application and forgot to do it. I was left with the rooms nobody wanted. I won't be making that mistake again. Junior Janie Sharp, who lives in NW, says, a few friends and I are trying to get an apartment next semester. I have been trying to get them to apply early. I believe if we apply, our chances will be high. For more information about the room selection, visit the McDaniel Res Life page or the McDaniel website. After much speculation, we have news that a beloved West Main Street stamp, ice, American Ice Coffee, will be closing its doors within the coming months. Shift Supervisor Luke Doug confirmed the owners has said June 18th would be the store's last day and if sooner. Added, adding that there are theories behind why the store may be closing but not confirmed reasons yet. The store owner Ben Shipman wasn't, wasn't available for the interview however there are when asked about a potential future of ice coffee, American Ice Coffee Cafe Douglas said ca coffee grind might still be a thing yet Yes, D, the other business Shannon owns will still be open as he still be in the area. There's actually someone who com that comes in and offers to buy the place. I don't know if there's going to be going to go anywhere, but if soon we could still have the same staff and just maybe change the title. Employees both, both currently and former shares the simple sense of sadness for the store's closing. Current employee Evie Moore said, "I guess it's just the kind of it kind of sucks. A little of the worker, workers there, include myself, haven't been there long time, but it's still just a cool place to hang out and meet people." Doug added, "I'm sad, definitely sad. We opened in 2019, right before the pandemic, and we are still one of the only stores that opened during COVID, and had to." utilize the drive-up window. It's definitely sad to see it shutting down after all the challenges the store faced. When asked American Ice Coffee why important, why was it important for the community of Westminster employee, Megan Moore Dirk said the AIC has really been a hotspot for a lot of different groups in the Westminster community. Every Sunday, you see fam Families come in after church brunch, and on Saturday, high school schoolers and college students pouring in looking for a good place to enjoy food and drink while studying and relaxing. I think a AIC has introduced people to a lot of things as well, from the high demand boba tea to our home roasted coffee. There are a lot of things this town experienced the first time. For more information and updates on the store, be be sure to follow them on Instagram or Facebook or swing by at 62W Main Street. Spring 2023 marks the first full semester in which RAs are not given toilet paper and trash bags to provide the residents in apartments and houses. RA of Garden Apartments 161, Carson Meckley says, RAs were made aware of the switch last semester via meetings and emails. Meckley, a first-time RA, says she was told that RAs would no longer receive toilet paper and trash bags and that residents must go up to Res Life to get them. Meckley prefers it this way and says, I believe that college students are responsible enough to either purchase their own toilet paper or walk up to Res Life to, retri to retrieve it on their own. It gets a little overwhelming when different residents request toilet paper or trash bags every day on top of our other responsibilities. Associate Director of Residence Life, an Anami Shannon says, we made the decision after looking at the amount of toilet paper that students were, request were requesting from their RAs and the amount they're actually using. Some students do not prefer the quality of products that we supply for them. 
so they just go and buy their own. Jazz Spencer, RA of Garden Apartments 159, provides residents with toilet paper and trash bags if they ask and acknowledges it can be an inconvenience for some people. He adds that none of the residents in his building have requested toilet paper or trash bags this semester. McDaniel's students continue to talk about the prices of merchandise and materials sold at the bookstore. While merchandise like shirts and sweat sweaters start at 50 and over, the materials like pencils and notebooks start at $10. There are mixed th thoughts about whether the bookstore's prices are reasonable for students or not. For some students, the prices are rather reasonable. India Ol Olivier says that she bought the from the bookstore because the prices aren't horrible. In fact, Oliver says that when comparing the prices to bookstores to prices in the other store, there's other, they're either cheap or around the same price. Oliver believes the stores of the items become sold in the bookstore and, reason, and are reasonable, especially since they're offered a lot of used books, which ends up be, being way cheaper than a new copy. Therefore, other students think the country, the prices of the items are way too expensive for students. Quinn Kurt says the prices of the bookstores are expensive, but the kind of how news bookstore, how college bookstores are, Kurt says, if for pencils and notebooks, I'd rather go to Walmart as far as college books goes, I probably won't spend my money on small things there. Whether students hate the prices of the items at the book, at McDaniel Bookstore or they are reasonable, there is no doubt that the bookstore makes a profit on selling needs materials and merchandise to students. The National Theater Honor, Honor Society uh, Alpha Phi Omega is currently gearing up for recruitment for the spring semester. We're getting ready by spreading the word about who we are around the cast and crew of Heathers as well as people taking theater classes, says recruitment chair Danielle Carter. Vice President Madison DeHias adds, I'm not sure about the exact numbers that will be joining us this spring, but we have around 20 people in our interest email. While the rehearsals for Heathers are in full swing, a game night has been planned for this week before rehearsal. It's the week before the opening of Heathers, so we thought it was important to get our name out there and chat with potential new members in a relaxed setting, says historian Kat Pilker. For those interested, the game night will be held in Alumni Hall under stage from 4.30 to 6 this Friday. What helps to make good college community is a good student town. Unf unfortunately, a common complaint about McDaniel is that it is in the middle of nowhere. However, Jenny Bird's Bakery Company gave donations to students. There are not many other businesses gener generated towards students. Aside from a few restaurants, downtown Westminster seems to consider mostly of rundown houses and tax offices. Tony Corman said that he does not feel safe going downtown, and where he wants to eat is he either has food delivery or drives food further out to look for something. Dave Rollworld, a parent of a McDaniel student, says after driving through it, warned not to go there at night. Charles Edlin, a senior here, said that there is, is just not, nothing to do downtown. House of Style is a new club that has arrived at McDaniel College. Since the institution is a liberal arts college without any current programs in the fashion business, the club's goal is to give students a chance to break into the industry. They started out this week with their first interest meeting and have had a full slate of events lined up for the rest of the semester. President of the club, Jasmine Parker, comments, fashion is for everyone, and remember that every model needs their stylist. Santana Ab Abney, the, sec the secretary of House of Style, says, when we were putting the club together, it just made sense. So many people would love to develop a style that makes them feel like the most beautiful person in the world. But unfortunately, we all don't have those resources. House of Style is here to let your individuality shine through a judgment-free space where we can all have fun. For more information and other upcoming events, be sure to follow their Instagram at 
MDC underscore House of Style. And now we go to Newsday correspondent Shanae Shafrin with a commentary about how to assist people in Turkey and <laughs> Sierra, Syria. Devastation in Turkey and Syria last week caused the deaths of more than 48,000 people. The earthquake created aftershocks that shook communities and ripped apart families. USA Today writes that over one million people thus far have been left homeless. I believe that as a community here at McDaniel, we can make an impact on the lives of many people across the globe. While learning more about how we can assist during such a tragedy, I spoke with Naya Hooker, a student who works in ODEI, who talked about how clothing items that are donated will all be given to those impacted. We must act now as people are in a time of need. The organization Helping Hand for Relief and Development has boxes that can take various amounts of goods, like clothing, including shoes, to small household items. In efforts to aid the people of Turkey and Syria, McDaniel has to set up those boxes outside of ODEI to collect donations. I believe we should do what we can to help those in need, and to do that, we must each do our part. Thanks, Cheyenne. The 2021-2022 season was a tough year for the swimming team since their coach retired from, co from the coaching team. According to a former member of the team, Thomas Fagiolo, I love to swim, however, the constant practices, the almost none days off, and the extra training with no support led me to take the decision of leaving the team. Not only did the team suffer when Coach Jeff left, but they were also lacking some support during the season too. Ashley Farrington, the current captain of the team says, I feel the team under Jeff coaching lacks support from the school. Like our 2021 to 2022 season, while we were getting onto the bus for champs. Adam, the AD, pulled Jeff into a meeting, even though the team had some downfalls. There were also some things the team loved. According to a junior on the swim team, Abigail Cook, he was the only coach able to see through a poker face of being mentally exhausted. He would make an effort to get to know everyone. Athletes are struggling with their mental health that there are some to be a light at at the end of the tunnel. With the COVID-19 pandemic, there was an all-time high demand of the Wellness Center for Mental Health Service. Jordan Bolter, Chancellor of the Wellness Center, said since COVID hit, the number of students using the service is the highest it has been in a six year here. Ellen Ilkappa, uh, forward for the women's soccer team said, Getting, getting my freshman season canceled was hard mentally. I do not know what to do with my days not having practices or not being able to hang out with my teammates. Alvina McDeary, goalkeeper for the women's soccer team, said, as the team was ready, had to look out for each other and make sure we were getting help when we needed it. The past year, everything has gone back to normal, and everyone has been has seemed to be happy. Jordan also said, "I think the hardest time for athletes was when their seasons was canceled or shortened, but now things seem to be better for them." For more information, visit the Wellness Center on the second level of Wilson Center. Do you like to throw frisbees? Do you get tired of just playing with one person? If so, I got the club for you. The Ultimate Frisbee Club is fun for everyone to come out and enjoy throwing a Frisbee around with scoring based on hockey. Alec Parker, a member of the club, says it's a great time to come down and have fun with your friends and others and have great competition. Jordan Green, the president of the club, says he loves the open atmosphere they have when welcoming in new members. When asked about his, version, his vision for the club this semester, he says, the goal is to do more scrimmages and get jerseys for the team, but most importantly, to have fun. Ultimate Frisbee practices on the football field on Mondays and Thursdays from 9 to 11 p.m. For more information, visit their Instagram, Green Terror UF. The semi and semi uh, Super Smash Pro tournament has been a hit with the students' body in several years and has helped grown students engage and participate in a 
and campus activities. This upcoming semester, the Super Smash Bro Tournament qualifiers will be held at 2 p.m. in the Rec Lounge for prizes at a $50 gift card to Amazon. The Vice President of Esports Club, Carola Organ Alvertica, has, all, has this to say. We always had a lot of fun putting time putting on an event and have a lot of students engaged, even from students coming from other schools. A former uh, complete computer, Max Forwards, who came to third in the previous year's comp competition. Yeah, it is fun time there. And we're like 25 or so people in the rec, lounge, uh, rec room. There were some strong players that came from other schools and it was a great to play with them to see how skills, skilled we, are, we really are. Another former multiplayer participant, Thomas Chovilk, said very high as the, the whole event. Playing in the part few tournaments was an ex, 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 experience. experience. A lot of player of great players were at the tournament, but I feel as if it was an opportunity to see new to see where I am at a player and I complete and did on it again. That's all for this week from Newsday McDaniel. I'm Grayson Johns and I'm Zoe Hunter. Still stay tuned for this week for each week for all the updating campus news and commentary.